Good evening. This is Swift Passage. Thanks for all you viewers locally and around the globe. I give God all the praise and glory on this channel. This is God's holy channel. This is God's holy channel. Amen. Shout out to all you new, new brothers and sisters in Christ that have um, joined this channel. Uh, this channel serves God the Father, Yahweh, Jesus Christ the Son, Yeshua, and the Holy Spirit, the three-in-one Trinity. Amen. Lots going on. Our redemption will happen. Our redemption will happen. Amen. Uh, Gulf Coast prepares for tropical storm Barry. Evacuations ordered in Louisiana. Floodwaters in New Orleans like toxic stew. Oh boy. Up to 25 inches of rain. New Orleans is about to be absolutely devastated by the worst storm since Katrina. We need to keep them in our prayers. The shaking won't stop. There have been more than 10,000 earthquakes in California and Nevada in the last seven days. It just keeps on going. Three die, more than 200,000 affected by floods in Assam. Excessive rain expected to continue. India. If anybody knows where that is exactly in India, if they could let me know in the comment section of this video, I would appreciate it. Um, Iran regime arrests eight Christians, sending them to solitary confinement. Well, we need to keep them in our prayers, too. Falling away, only 2.8% of American pastors are willing to preach these biblical truths. Yeah, there's a lot of false uh, teachers on YouTube also. Uh, false pastors preaching things they should not be preaching. There are not following the Word of God, the Word of God. Developing Mississippi River projected to see one of its, its highest crests on record. Wow, it just keeps on going. Boston censors Christian flag, but allows communist transgender flags on government property. Wow. What does the Bible say about, about the last days? Matthew chapter 5 in the, in the King James Version Bible, verses 3 through 12, I'm going to read here. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is a kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Just like in Iran here. The, the eight that were um, put in solitary confinement. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Yep, that's happened to me several times, like like other true Christian channels on YouTube. Uh, 
there are true um, are fault are spoken about falsely. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Amen. There is so much going on. We need to keep um, brothers and sisters down in Louisiana in our prayers. Um, one other thing, um, I did, on the July 9th, I received a an email from Pastor Daniel in Nigeria. I don't know what's going on with people these days, but a brother in Christ said he would mail out Bibles to him. And as soon as um, I was going to find out with him, as soon as he sent those out to let uh, Brother Daniel know, uh, at this point I'm thinking they were not sent out. So um, this is what Pastor Daniel said. Swift Passage Ministry. We believe that everyone needs a Bible so they can read it and know who the real Jesus is. There are many people who preach or teach about a different Jesus than the Jesus in the Bible. We here believe that it's very important to know who the true Jesus is. The only way to know who the true Jesus is is by reading the Word and having a relationship with Him. A relationship with Jesus Christ. Which is why we want to give out your free Bibles. And we pray that God provides a means, means for this shipment. Pastor Daniel. He sent me this. I printed it out. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. The last video I did, it, it had several hundred people watching. Um, a sister in Christ donated $50 in regards to the ministry. Thank you, sister. You know who you are. Um, that is not enough, guys, to, to do the uh, ministry, to, to send out the Bibles. Uh, I was planning on sending out two boxes. It's $100 per box. I need your help. This ministry um, needs your support. I don't um, do anything without being led by the Holy Spirit of God in these last moments. I will stand before Holy God just like all you will do the same. We'll stand before Holy God. I'm hoping that people will um, be led by the Holy Spirit and, and donate to this ministry so I can do the, the Lord's will and talk to people, send out Bibles to Nigeria. Uh, this ministry used to get uh, support, steady support to do the Lord's will. I've talked to uh, many people across the nation. Um, I've talked to people locally. I've talked to people um, online. I've talked to many people, and, and plus I've done many things for the Lord in secret um, because the Lord wanted me to do that. The Lord told me as long as I'm um, not proud or boastful, He will continue to use me. He has. I'm very grateful and humbled to be a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ, to be obedient and do what he tells me to do. I know there are people out there that are watching that the Lord has put in your spirit to bless this ministry so I can do the will of the Lord. Um, he has put in hearts and he has told me people are not listening to his voice when he speaks to them or puts in their spirit on what to do. The, my work here is not done until the trumpets sound. God bless you all. I'm going to put a clip in there from Billy Graham at the end here. Soon and very soon, we're going to see the king. Shalom.
I forgot one thing. I was in prayer last yesterday for over two hours. I was in prayer. I spoke in tongues. I prayed to the Lord. The Lord spoke to me about a couple of different, well, actually about four different things that were for me. But there's a couple, there is a, a word that he gave me that stood out to me. I'm going to share it with you. Glorification and purification. Glorification is the end goal of every Christian's life journey. This is what he spoke to me about. He said, seek ye first at the kingdom and, and oh, seek ye first and the kingdom shall follow. He's talking about himself. Seek him. So, you know, the, the last word he gave me it was at 8.40 p.m. last night, July 11th. He said, we are at the end, my son, the very end. I'm going to leave you with that note. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen. Shalom. Matthew 22, Jesus said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments, said Jesus, hang all the law and all the teaching of the prophets. It's all summed up in love. You love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. And do you love your neighbor? Now your neighbor means anybody that's in need. Jesus taught that in the parable of the Good Samaritan. Anyone who's in need, you love that neighbor as much as you love yourself. That's what Jesus said. We're going to be weighed by that law. Thirdly, we're going to be weighed by the person of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Psalm 89, For who in the heaven can be compared unto the Lord? Who among the sons of the mighty can be likened unto the Lord? Isaiah said, To whom will be likened me, and make me evil, or equal, and compare me, that they should be like me? God says, Be ye holy, for so I am holy. If you don't know, Jesus Christ was the only righteous and the only holy man that ever lived. And if we don't live like Jesus and live as good as Jesus is, then we come short of God's requirement and God's expectation. Will you say, Billy, who in the world can live like Jesus? Nobody. That's the reason you all have to say, I'm a sinner.